I don't care who you are. It will change you. It will heal you. It will prosper you. It cares about transforming you into itself. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth The Holy Ghost today. is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. And if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Deuteronomy chapter 28. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Say the voice. To observe and to do right you're gonna see it and you're gonna do it the Lord thy God will the Lord my God will do something will set you on high above all that's pretty good right yes, it is. verse 2 and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god well hearken means to hear mm -hmm. and to hear something has to be spoken yes so here we're talking about the spoken word if you don't have the spoken word none of that can come to pass well he goes on to say and i'm not going to read it all because there's a lot there and he says you'll be blessed in the city blessed in the field blessed 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 how from the spoken word so he said the lord thy god would bless thee the lord what should this automatically do to you when you hear the words the lord in this day and in this dispensation now the lord is that spirit holy ghost so the lord thy god shall do these things for you mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yes. second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit is lord there is liberty there is freedom there is all of those blessings that we just read mm -hmm. he will do that that he will do who is that spirit the holy ghost, the holy ghost is that spirit he is the spirit lord now 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 either he the holy ghost is god and he's in the earth or he's not mm -hmm. and you know i preach on this all the time proving from the scriptures over and over that the holy ghost is god in the earth today and then how we walk with him is by speaking in agreement with his word mm -hmm. you can go about it some other way but you won't have the results well i'm telling you he doesn't play well with other gods he doesn't work well with other gods and his things don't work well with other gods and if we're talking about serving him by speaking in agreement with his words it's when you're not speaking in agreement with his words mm -hmm. that you're not serving him mm -hmm. and you're playing around with other gods these other gods would include the god you've made out of your old religious traditional thinking mm -hmm. that doesn't treat him as god in the earth today mm -hmm. him as lord makes you something what did he say he said he will make you the lord shall make you say make me, make me. the lord shall make you the head and not the tail right yes. above only mm -hmm. and not beneath the lord shall make you who the lord the lord holy ghost shall make you mm -hmm. the head and not the tail can you expect that yes. 
if you serve him as lord and speak in agreement with his words and don't go after other gods by speaking their words mm -hmm. him as lord makes you something you are changed into something you weren't before you weren't the head before now you're made the head and not the tail some people aren't ready or willing for that matter to be changed this much first of all i've been talking about the holy ghost being god in the earth today and following him they're not willing to be changed that much mm -hmm. he wants to change you into the head not the tail it's completely life transforming you will be healed you will be made whole you will be prospered you will be made rich who does this mm -hmm. the lord does this this is what he does mm -hmm. when we're in agreement with him and we're serving him you will enter into a new economic status with the lord because the lord will make you something if i do the hearing and the saying right remember we read that if i do the hearing and the saying that i am made the head and not the tail mm -hmm. and that head can be in any realm of existence you will be made the head in ministry mm -hmm. you will be made the head in business i hope you can hear these things doesn't matter what realm it is the lord will make you the head he will do it mm -hmm. in fact in deuteronomy 28 verse 10 it says they shall see it and be afraid of you what are they going to see you were made something the lord will make you he didn't say he's going to change the situation mm -hmm. because you just in a different situation would end up the same place you were before he's going to change you into the head a lot of people are not willing to be changed that much you were changed you became something different well tonight we're going to be talking about how to become a word person classically in the word of faith circles a word person is somebody that takes the word of God and uses that as final authority mm -hmm. and we've heard the phrase God said it I believe it that settles it have you heard that before mm -hmm. that's the basic gist of what a word person is they they get it out of the word and that's the final authority not what you think not what you feel not what it looks like Amen. right yes. but I'm gonna take it a step farther you're gonna become a person that has become a word of God rather than just being a word person that yes we say that you know because you can say that stuff about the word and then I have it do anything to you yes I believe the Bible from cover to cover so what have you become a word person say a word, a word. Person. person meaning a person who's become a word that's you he will make you that word you've become a word person are you here yes. there is power and ability in every word of God Amen. to bring itself to pass no matter what the person is what's it gonna bring to pass it's gonna make that person that word in those words spoken because the power may be latent in those words written on the page but until they're spoken that's why we started there mm -hmm. there's power in those spoken words to take you there say me, me. There. there and there is to be that person mm -hmm. that those words have said you there is a word person not I'm a word person I believe the word no you are that word now you've become that word listen you've become that word that word has become you you were made that 
is that different you have become that word spoken you see that's where we're going right you become that word spoken you're speaking the word and you are made that word you are Amen. if the word is by Jesus stripes I was healed I literally become that word spoken I become by Jesus stripes I was healed sure the manifestation of that is healing in my life but I became it I was made that word that's being a word person we become the word spoken in John chapter 1 verse 14 the word was made the word was made flesh and dwelt among us he's our example isn't he yes, he, is. he was the word made say made, made flesh and dwelt among us it's the same thing that happens to us when we become a word person we are made into the flesh or into whatever realm that word is and then it dwells among us mm -hmm. you are made something the word makes you something that you weren't before you're transformed from not being a word person to being a word person in whatever area that word was spoken well I'm speaking his words this evening and his words transform you they take you from one place to a different place you go from here to there by the vehicle of words taking you there it's the way God does everything he sends his word and heals them and delivers them what did he send his word and his word transported you from not being healed to being healed his word transported you from not being delivered to being delivered you became healed you became delivered you became a word person from sickness to a healed person from poverty to a rich person a rich person yes are there scriptures that talk about being made rich yes the blessing of the Lord makes rich adds no sorrow with it his spoken words take you there well I'm called to take you there if you can hear it into healing and perfect health into prosperity and abundant wealth into having your youth renewed and then beyond the transformation will continue mm -hmm. say the transformation, transformation. will continue, will continue. Beyond. beyond well the anointing that is on me breaks the yoke of traditional thinking breaks the yoke of religious bondage that has bound you for years these words i'm saying are not known in many circles even in circles that would say they're a word person they're not thinking of it like this they don't become the word you become the word by saying the word you are made that word why do you think sickness can't get on you because you and you're so special no it's because you become that word spoken and the power in that word has transformed you into itself how many times have I said this where do you think this leads us if I'm transformed by the blessing of the Lord making me rich adding no sorrow with it what do I actually become mm -hmm. I'm made Proverbs 10 mm -hmm. the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it Amen. that's a word person this will work for everyone who will commit to working it you have to commit to working it by saying it say I have to commit, have to, commit to working it, to working it by it. saying it saying. what's gonna happen if you continue to say a verse of Scripture well number one it'll come visit you it'll get on you mm -hmm. and then it will change you it will make you into itself you become that word well this will work for everyone who will commit to working it but you won't do it you'll revert to begging asking God instead of saying it 
i've shown you several times already that that's the way we do it we walk with god by saying his word until it transforms us into it mm -hmm. what part of that was begging what part of that was crying you stopped saying it when you started begging you stopped saying it were you doing his word when you started begging no is begging and crying a big part of religious traditional thinking it is. oh yeah we've all been there how how'd that work out for you mm -hmm. it didn't it didn't do anything mm -hmm. i'm telling you this works a thousand times better because it works i'm reading scriptures and i warn you not to say that this doesn't work if you're saying that what i've said tonight doesn't work you are literally speaking in opposition to the holy ghost how's that going to work out for you you're speaking against the holy ghost now one word of god say one word of god one word can totally transform and change your entire life if that word is in manifestation if you've become that word can you understand that yes. how are you gonna get that word into your life it's gonna have to be in your mouth and you're gonna say it and say it and say it until you are made that word say until I, until I am made that word what if you're not that word yet whine cry no keep saying it right years ago i'll tell you this story i was fresh out of uh bible school and uh you know i was preaching here and there but you know i needed to do something so i started this little trucking business with a friend we uh we would rent these trucks and then we would move people we put advertisements in the paper and we'd you know we'd go and we look at their house and we'd 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 give them an estimate and we'd move them and a lot of my trips would be from new york to florida and that's a long ride mm -hmm. i don't know if you knew that or not mm -hmm. and then i'd get somebody down there you know that i wanted to come back up to new york and we'd so if i if i worked it out i'd get i'd get people both ways so i'd only have to rent a truck once mm -hmm. and i'd get paid for both ways anyway anyway if you need a, a quick business idea there you go mm -hmm. so i was doing that well at this time i had committed that if i was driving i would be speaking in tongues and that's a long that's 24 hours at least right in the truck so if i was driving my mouth was moving and i was speaking in other tongues speaking in tongues and speaking in tongues can you drive and speak in tongues i love to drive and speak in tongues so i'm speaking in tongues speaking in tongues drive all the way down do the thing i gotta do and i drive all the way back what am i doing all the way back speaking in, tongue. speaking in tongues and as i'm pulling down into the place where i have to return the rental truck mm -hmm. the word of the lord came to me never heard the word of the lord like this before he said these words i remember clearly to this very day he said there is nothing impossible to the man who hears from god and with that came the understanding that the power is in that word that came to you to bring itself to pass yes. that's why there's nothing impossible to the man that hears from god yes. so the power and ability and faith is in the word itself to produce itself it's not even your faith how you get your faith faith comes by hearing mm -hmm. the word if you have faith it's because it came from the word right mm -hmm. so the power and faith and ability is in that word of god to bring itself to pass in the person who will say it and hear it one word of god can change your life by the power that's in the word itself i'm changed into that and when i'm changed into that i am that word person your total success is in this this message tonight if you can hear it your total success is in it and god doesn't just leave it up to chance he wrote it out 
so that you know exactly what to say go to Joshua chapter 1 if you know anything about Joshua he was the one chosen to take over for Moses where well, those some pretty big shoes to fill yes. do you suppose he did a considerable amount of whining and begging <laughs> and crying for help mm -hmm. how am I gonna do this how am I gonna how am I gonna lead this people Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 and so God answers him this book of the law or the word at the time shall not depart out of your mouth if it didn't depart out of your mouth where is it in your mouth. mouth it's in your mouth he goes on to clarify that thou shalt meditate therein day and night the word meditate literally means to mutter mm -hmm. god how am i going to do it i'm going to do it i'm going to get healed how am i going to get prospered how am i going to do it how am i going to do it thou shalt not let the word depart out of your mouth keep it in your mouth and mutter it say mutter it, mutter it. you mutter it day and night when is that that's in the daytime and then also in the nighttime that seems like too much i know because you're a baby you don't like to hear what the word is telling you to do you would rather whine and complain about it you have to decide that you're gonna go here hope you can hear that mm -hmm. well once you've made the decision that you're gonna go here now you know what to do don't you mm -hmm. I'm gonna mutter that word day and night look what he says will happen meditate there in day and night that thou mayest observe to do or see how to do it according to all that's written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success yes. you didn't see how to do it before you had to be changed by that word into a person who was prosperous and successful mm -hmm. you mutter it until you see how you mutter it until you're changed into the word you've been speaking for that word has power and ability in itself to bring itself to pass in you i don't care who you are it will change you it will heal you it will prosper you because it doesn't care about you it cares about transforming you into itself Say this the word doesn't care about me the word doesn't care about me it cares about, it cares about transforming me transforming into, itself. into itself you become a word person is this is making sense now yes. i become that word how do i become that word by speaking it here he told joshua to speak it day and night and then he'd be prosperous and successful literally the only time the word success is written in the Bible right there I want to be successful well then you got to do that I don't want to do that then you won't be successful <laughs> and thou shalt be you were changed into it you were changed into the word spoken I'm changed into it I become a word person but if I only do it with one word, I'm still a word person. Mm -hmm. Right? You got to start somewhere. So, what's the word? You do the choosing. You choose the word, right? Hit all the promises are yes and amen. He's already said yes. You have to say amen to it. But you need to become a word. You need to become that word. And you become the word by saying it. Right. We're up to this place, right? Mm -hmm. So, you choose. Well, frankly you can choose any of them but you may choose proverbs 10 22 says the blessing of the lord makes you rich who's the lord the holy ghost he makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it would that be a good word to choose yes. would that be a good word to be transformed into to become yes. that word person i think so no i said it three times it didn't happen well no kidding is that day and night 
you don't say it until it doesn't happen you say it until it does happen until it changes you I think this is where we miss it so many times we say it until we think our circumstances changed can you see that now that that's not really the point the point is for the word to change you into it you will be made yes. it you are made the head not the tail he didn't say I'll I'll put you to the head he said you'll be made it first timothy chapter 6 and verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living god who is the living god holy, holy ghost. ghost trust in the living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy would that be a good verse of scripture to be changed into yes. well i'm changed into that living god gives me richly all things to enjoy i went from not being someone who living god gave me richly all things to enjoy to being someone living god gives me richly all things to enjoy are you seeing this yes what happened well your circumstance had nothing to do with my circumstances it had everything to do with me being changed into that verse of scripture okay. i am now that i am that say I am that. I am that who also said that remember god when he said uh he said who are you he said i am that i am yeah. he's that he is I am that I am he's changing you into it yes. are you getting this yes. well I am changed into first Timothy 6 17 in fact it's just half of verse 17 you see that right mm -hmm. yeah. it's the half of it I can be changed a half a verse of scripture will radically transform your life mm -hmm. you say yeah one verse of scripture well this a half a verse of scripture if you become that you became something yes. I am a living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I'm transformed into that if you remember Luke chapter 4 verse 8 Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve well we know who the Lord our God is today right Holy Ghost and we serve him by saying words can you see how you're serving him now by saying words yes. well when i worship him you're supposed to worship the lord your god and him only serve mm -hmm. say i worship the lord by god the lord and, by him god. Only serve. and him only serve what if i do that verse of scripture what would that look like well let's just say we're going to serve him with first timothy 6 17 living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I said it once is that it no I'm gonna say it I'm gonna say it until I become it until it becomes me right and I'm gonna worship the Lord my God I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost living God gives me richly all things to enjoy living God gives me richly all things to enjoy living god gives me richly all things to enjoy i worship you holy ghost i worship you holy ghost living god gives me richly all things to enjoy what's happening i'm being changed are you changing him he's not changing you're being changed into one who worships the living god holy ghost god in the earth today and you're being changed into one who the living god gives richly all things to enjoy are you here yes. well I am that deal with it I am that I'm one who worships the Lord my God and him only serves and he the Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy say I am that, I am that. you see that's your job you're supposed to worship God why do you have to tell people this you're supposed to worship this is your job is to worship him and speak in agreement with his word and when you're speaking when you're worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word you become that that thing that 
thing spoken I become that and my people become that that's where we are and this is how it works for me this is how it works for you let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people heard this message today I say their life has been changed rearranged and things have come up for them they will now continue with you the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today speaking in agreement with your word and you will no longer be upset or dissatisfied with your people because of them whining and complaining but we are speakers of the word we're being transformed into the word that you've already spoken and we shall arise in this last day a great people on the earth even a people that others may fear and we thank you Holy Ghost for it being made the head and not the tail above only and not beneath in this day in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are the living God you give me richly all things to enjoy I am now being transformed into that the head and not the tail above only and not beneath and I give you all the glory and praise in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today 